All right, so welcome back. Okay, so I got a request, a couple of requests from Discord. One is to show some of the parts of the, the house of the inside. So we are currently sitting in the game room. We've got a nice pool table here, a nice couch. We've got darts, we've got a bunch of stuff. Um, so this is the, the game room. And uh, also a request on Discord. Somebody was mentioning last night um, uh, challenges they were having and kind of picturing themselves becoming wealthy and almost feeling like the, the gains that I've talked about and the videos that I put out as being almost too unreal. Like almost as in like a cheat code to escape the matrix of financial slavery. So I wanna talk about those things in this video. And if you are someone that is, you're, you're doubting the potential gains that could be had or it just seems too easy to become a millionaire, a multimillionaire or to achieve financial freedom, or if you're somebody that has doubts about uh, your ability to actually escape your current financial situation and get to a better place, this video is for you. So also to, to wrap things up, <laughs> I, to bring in something else, like I've got some OJ with me. Now it's like if you were watching me back in this summer, especially I was in my Jeep usually with OJ and I was talking about OJ and how I love OJ. It's a derivative product of an orange and I love derivative products like Kony, the C-O-N-Y high yield ETF is a derivative product of Coinbase. And the Grayscale trust funds like LTC and BCHG are derivative products of the underlying native crypto. So I love derivative products. So it's like, this is, this is wonderful. OJ and all derivative products are wonderful. They're good for you. They make you wealthy and they taste good. Okay, so um, let me talk first about whether or not you uh, are, are capable of escaping your current financial situation, how feasible is it, is this meant for you, all that kind of stuff. First of all, like I'm somebody who, I don't believe the universe is random. I don't believe that we would just like, you know, just we are the, we are the result of circumstance. Like I, I don't, you look in, in, in nature, um, in biology, and there's too much that just corresponds to mathematics. It's just like too much to be consequential or too much to be just like uh, uh, random, right? So I don't know if we're living in a simulation or what. Some people think we are, then there could be a good chance we are. I don't know, it's a topic for a different discussion. But I don't believe in just random stuff. Obviously chance happens to everybody, but I have a tendency to believe, maybe it's the dreamer in me, the romantic in me, that believes in uh, things like divine timing, synchronicity, serendipity, all that kind of stuff. So I look at it and I go, there's a reason you found my channel. There's a reason you saw my videos. And, uh, you know, you were meant to be wealthy. You were meant, to, this is meant for you. Like, it, it, and you don't have to take these opportunities that I talk about. A lot of people might look at them and say, well, it's too good to be true, too risky. I don't want to invest in cryptocurrency. Uh, and that's fine, they'll, they'll go their own way and they won't engage. But everyone I, I believe that comes here that sees my videos is being offered essentially an opportunity by the universe or God or whatever you wanna think to basically free yourself, right? And and I look around on YouTube and I don't see people talking about the stuff that I do. I mean, people will talk about cryptocurrency and the Grayscale Trusts and dividend ETFs, but nobody talks about using them together to essentially escape the system and especially combining cryptocurrency with high yield dividend ETFs to basically catapult yourself to great levels of wealth far faster than what most people think. So it, it does seem unbelievable, you know, but, but I believe everybody who sees my videos, it's like you, you, you were brought here for a reason, you know, and however you got here, you got here. Okay. So you don't have to take the opportunity if you don't want, but you're being offered one. Right? There's a chance if you take a risk, you take a gamble, uh, things could pan out and you could end up in a really good financial situation. There are no guarantees in life in anything, uh, but I think you know we're facing a really solid bull run. And I think uh, the assets that I've talked about, the Grayscale Trust I've talked about, are just real solid performers and they're gonna do well. Um, but you know, if you have a problem, and, and I'm guessing uh, several people do, if you have a problem kind of picturing yourself escaping uh, your current financial situation and getting to a better place um, and you feel like that's a roadblock, I just want to say a few things. You know, we, uh, you know, when I first came across cryptocurrency, I, I didn't believe it was possible. You know, it's like, I'm like, this is crazy. This, th these kind of gains, this is crazy. And uh, so it took me a while to get used to it and to see it in action and believe in it. 
And uh, same thing for high yield dividend ETFs. When I was investing in like 3% yielders like Coca-Cola, 3M, SCHD, uh, I couldn't believe the opportunity to get into things like Tesla and then eventually Coney, you know, and SQI and stuff like that. Um, I, you know, it's, it's, it felt too good to be true. And yet uh, I was able to accept those things because I built up slowly my belief in, in, in things. And when you are <clears throat> presented with an opportunity that uh, is such a dr dramatic change for you potentially, like turning $500 into a million dollars over the course of five years, that's pretty crazy, right? And that's, it's not taught to you in school. It's not taught to you by your family. You probably don't hear it anywhere else on YouTube. I don't see anybody else on YouTube talking about this stuff. It might seem unbelievable, like it's not possible. And all I can say to you is like, <clears throat> you know, do the math yourselves. Like if, if we, it, it, it's, it's simple math. All the videos where I talk about the gains, it's simple mathematics. The, the only, and you can't deny the mathematics. What you can question are the potential returns of assets. For example, a cryptocurrency, you know, uh, and it's pretty, you know, dividend ETFs, you don't need to question too much because all you got to do is look at the monthly payouts and it's like, it, it shows you it's proof that they actually work and they actually perform like I'm talking about. But cryptocurrency is new to a lot of people. So the best thing to do is to take a look at past charts of cryptocurrency and what things have looked like during crypto bull runs and how prices have spiked so high. And then you get an idea for what is possible, what can be done. And then you look at, for example, LTCN, not the, the, the Grayscale Fund. You take a look at the, the multi-year chart and see what it did from where we are right now. It's, it's, a, you know, it's a pretty crazy, it's a 30X right now from where we are to get up to last bull runs high, essentially. So it's like, you, you know, that's an incredible gain right there. And if we're talking about 50 or potentially 100X returns, that goes beyond that. But it definitely is feasible given you know what what I and others think Litecoin could do this bull run. So you just have to get comfortable with that and believing the math. Um, then you have to believe that that you're worthy and uh, you know that you're able to handle money. Like a, you know if you if you don't if you don't have experience with handling a lot of money and that's in quotes it could be ten thousand or a hundred thousand or a million or whatever. Um, then it might seem foreign to you. It might seem, you know, like it's out of your ballpark, out of, out of the realm of possibility for you. And it's not. Uh, you just have to, you know, for me, it's like, I, I mean, geez, it was only like, it, like 25 years ago. <laughs> like, I, I, I didn't have any money, you know, and I was deep in credit card debt and student loan debt. And, uh, you know, it's like I was donating plasma when I was, you know, you know, 20, you know, to get 20 bucks because I didn't have much money. And I was bouncing a couple checks and I felt really bad about myself, uh, where I was, you know, in terms of a financial situation. And, and here I am now. It's like the to totally different, totally different world. And, uh, you know, all I can say is your life can change dramatically if you just make the right decisions. You know, if you just make the right decisions, you make some small changes or some big changes, your life can take a pretty big turn for the positive. And, and you can have a life that is nothing like what you have right now. It can be so much better. So you just have to believe that this is meant for you. Also, you know, you have to look at what, the, what is the purpose of money and becoming wealthy. Well, you know, one, it's to improve your life, you know, to pay off your debt, get a better car, go on vacation, get a better house, all that kind of stuff, right? And then it's also to do some fun stuff, like, you know, the big stuff, you know, the big baller stuff. Like if you want, if you get into a lot of money, it's like go rent a private jet. But it's also to, it's to help your family, right? It's like, you might have parents that are in retirement or nearing retirement and they might be struggling because they didn't save or they didn't know how to invest. I'm in that situation with my parents, like I'm fortunate in that I'm able to help them in their retirement. So that's one thing you can do if you have more money. You can also help support your community. Like look at, look at all the, the nonprofits and organizations that do really good things in your community that for your local community and for people around the world that do really good things. Um, and, and, and that's a great purpose for having money. Like that's, so you gotta look at like, what is your purpose for having money? It's, it's to make your life better, your family's life better, and your community and the world's life better.
you know, let's uh, improve that. So if th there was something like, you know, here's the saying, I've repeated this a couple of times. I don't know if somebody else said this originally or if it was just me, but imagine this, like say you want to save the whales, right? You, you're very passionate about that. You want to save the whales, but you don't have any money. In that situation, the best you can do is basically hold up a sign that says save the whales at a protest or march. But if you have a billion dollars or a million dollars, you can do a lot of good you, to save the whales. You can donate your money and put it to use in concrete ways, right? So the, the more money you have, the more effective you can be in helping to transform this world to be a better place. So, and I know it's like, a, <clears throat> you have to, if you're feeling like this isn't meant for you, if you're feeling like this is impossible, that you can't get out of the situation that you're in, that you're never gonna escape it, that this wasn't meant for you, right? Then, you, I don't know, I, I really think that you need to just examine, examine your beliefs a little bit more and just do some self work because you are worthy of money. And it's like, I, I believe if you found my video, <laughs> any video, and you're like, this is crazy, that, that it's meant for you to at least make a decision, whether you do it or not, is up to you. But, um, Nonetheless, it's like that every one of us is capable of being wealthy. You know, whatever wealthy means. Wealthy to some people means paying off their mortgage, paying off their debt, and having, you know, 20 grand in the bank. And that's wealthy to them, you know? And other people, wealthy means reaching millionaire status or beyond that. And whatever wealthy is to you, you know, you're, you're worthy of that. And the more money you have, uh, the more you get used to working with money. Like if you get your first $100,000, for example, you start to get used to that $100,000 and what it feels like to have 100,000 and manage that well and not waste it and not blow it on stupid shit, uh, but to take care of it and manage it and tend it. Um, and then that allows you to gain access to more money because you've got good money habits. You know what to do with money. You know how to invest it and save it and do good things with it. And that allows you to become a millionaire, for example, if you got $100,000 and, and, and just kind of goes from there. So you can, you, you can have anything you want in life if you just take the right steps and make wise investments. And we aren't taught about any of this stuff in school. Like you know, our, our school system does not teach us about this. Our, our parents didn't teach us about this because they, they didn't know about it. Um, if they did know about it, they'd be they'd be wealthy and they would have taught us, right? So it's like we, we have to learn this stuff and pass it on then to our kids and future generations so that the, the, the experience and the knowledge isn't wasted. So that is passed down. So, so yeah, so it's like uh, uh, the opportunities are here. It's uh, like I said, I believe like this bull run is a once in a lifetime opportunity because we, we A, we have the Grayscale Trust for LTC and BCHG. I, I doubt we'll have them next bull run. And, um, you know, we'll, 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 we'll probably likely see, I, I guess, lesser returns in future bull runs. I, I hope I'm wrong, but I think we might. Like, I think this might be one of the best ones that we've ever had, if not the best. So I'm hoping the next one is good and real good, but it might not be. Um, you might only be able to get 10x or 20x returns, not 50x or 100x returns. But we'll see. You know, time has to play out, and we'll uh, hindsight will be 2020, and we'll know at the end of the next bull run how things go. So, anyways, just some thoughts on things that I wanted. I wanted to put a video out. Um, you know, if you don't believe, just to recap, if you don't believe things are possible, if you think the stuff I've talked about is too good to be true, just run the math yourself. You know, the math checks out. The only thing you have to believe in is high yield dividend, you know, ETF payouts, which are pretty easy to prove. Just go look at the dividend payouts for Coney, for example, for the past couple months. And then also the returns for native cryptocurrency and, and the returns for Grayscale and just take a look at what we could do. Combine that with what you know people are saying on the internet about what they think crypto could do or the Grayscale funds could do. <clears throat> and at the end of the day, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's all, it's all, you know, it's conjecture by myself and everyone else. Like we don't, we don't know for sure. We can't guarantee anything. It would be nice if we knew for sure, like we'd all love to know, but we're all, we're all gonna know for sure once this thing is over what the actual returns are 
on the grayscale funds or native cryptos, that then will not, but it'll be too late, right? To, to change up our uh, plan. Uh, all we can do is use our best guess, you know, our best estimate as to what we think the cryptos could do, the native cryptos underlying, and what we think, uh, for example, the premium play is gonna be in the grayscale funds. That allows us to determine what we think are projected yields, projected returns from these funds. So that's, so if you're in disbelief, just do the math yourself, do the research, and just understand that everybody's just doing the best they can, that we're all just making estimates, we're all just making a guess, um, but we're doing the best we can. And, uh, and then if you have self-doubts about your ability and, and worthiness of getting out of your financial situation, you gotta do some self-work, because you are. And there's a, I, I definitely believe that there's a, you know, a divine purpose or synchronicity or whatever you want to call it that brought you here to find this channel and watch these videos and see this opportunity. So uh, just something to think about if you're going through that situation. I'm going to end this thing here. I've got other videos that I'll do today on different topics. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, I love my OJ. I'm going to have some more in just a minute. But uh, anyway, this is the game room. Like I said, let me just walk around the game room a little bit here before we end. Uh, so, I got my big ring light. So this is the bar. We've got three TVs mounted above the bar area. Um, we got darts back here. Our pool table, nice couch, nice TV. We've got a hookah. One of our friends gave us a hookah. So, so, so yeah, that's kind of fun. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, you know, I've been talking about divine stuff. I've been talking about synchronicity, divine timing. Would you believe that I am the son of a preacher man? No kidding. My dad's a preacher. All right, I'll see you guys soon.